Welcome to the Obsessed with Real Estate show. I am your host, Alana George, and I'm obsessed with real estate. I am interviewing today Eddie Oberoi, top producing real estate agent here in Silicon Valley and friend of mine, who I'm bringing on this show. He does invest in real estate, but his mindset and motivation and routines is so uplifting and powerful. I had to have him on to share some of this wisdom with you. If you're looking for a kick in the butt to get going and to be inspired, you do not want to miss this episode. He has plenty of book recommendations. He goes over his exact morning routine, which is so intricate and committed. And he even shares with us all of his powerful affirmations, including his personal like and business big goals. They're heavy, they're big, they're challenging me to think bigger with my affirmations and goals. And I hope that they do the same for you. Just a reminder, any of, of the books that he mentioned, including his own, which we will go over, he is he authored a book last year that will be available in the show links below. And so that, that book, as well as all the books that he mentions, because he is an avid audible listener. And then he also mentioned investing in real estate syndications. So if that's something that you'd like more information on, definitely connect with me. My company, Clear Connection Capital focuses on, um, apartment syndications, you can go to clearconnectioncapital.com if you'd like to learn more information on that. Now let's get into the episode. I am here with Eddie Oberoi with the Eddie Oberoi team, real estate team. And I'm super excited to jump into an interview with you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you for the next few minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a super busy man. So we're going to make this fast. No, I no, want to I want to just, you know, jump in with this is how we met, right? Is through real estate. We actually, I don't know if you remember, we work for the same company, but we hadn't actually crossed paths and we sat next to each other on a plane to Mike Ferry. Oh my gosh. I think I remember that. Yes. Yeah. And I'm like nine years ago, eight, nine years ago, I think. Yes. It was a, it was a while ago yeah. and I'm like, oh my God, I get to sit next to a top producer on a plane. Like for that, whatever, one hour, one hour and a half flight. It was so cool just to have like your un, undivided attention. Right. We could talk yeah. about whatever. Well, and it's good so, to meet like-minded people, right? I mean, yeah, likewise. It's always fun to have that conversation about life and what motivates you, what excites you. So it's good. Yeah, yeah. I I loved it. And I'm like, this is a blessing. I need to keep coming to real estate events because I love meeting yeah. people that are, are a few steps or even more ahead of me, right? And what I'm doing. So that was just such a blessed opportunity of the universe doing for me, setting me up for success. Anywho, Fast forward, you are now an author of a book, Wake the F Up, yes. <laughs> and I'm up. so proud of you, and I'm actually on the very last chapter. I was oh, trying wow. to speed read it before this, and I'm really proud of you, and this is really cool to have, so we can touch on that later. Let's yeah. jump into you, Eddie. Tell me, and, and our listeners, a bit about you, your background, and what got you to real estate, and why? Okay, let's talk about that real quick. It's a long story, but I'll try to make it short. So originally, I'm from India. I was born and raised there. I came to the U.S. when I was 16. That was 32 years ago. And I couldn't even speak the language. So I actually landed in Salt Lake City, Utah. That was 1991. And my brother, he was in the restaurant business. And and by the way, super, I, I was shy, insecure, I thought I was dumb. I thought I was ugly. Just, 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 I was carrying a lot of baggage with me. And he made me work in his restaurant nonstop, you know, and I felt like, like I was, I was in a cage and all of a sudden I'm looking at other teenagers, you know, they're on dates, they're having their shakes and burgers and I'm mopping floor and cleaning toilets. And I'm like, F this, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you like all of a sudden I felt that fire, you know, like just like yeah. started burning in my belly, which I never had experienced before because I, as a kid, I was a very aloof kid. I was like, yeah, happy go lucky. I didn't care. I wasn't competitive, but that just like that just 
built this fire, which which is still I can't get rid of it because it's in there. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, man, I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna learn the language. I'm gonna get out of Utah. I'm gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna go. But long story short, I pushed myself. I learned the language. I hired a bunch of coaches. I finished my high school. I finished my college. And then I came to California in 1997. And I got in the business in 1999. And and I got in the business only because I wanted to pay off my student loan, pay off my debt. I was just, you know, I was just like struggling as a, as a, as a beginner, just trying to survive. Right. But the funny thing happened was over the years, I fell in love with this business. And now I, I just love it. I cherish it. And you, you know, you, you and I talk about it because it, it's such a great way to grow as an individual. Mm-hmm. I don't think any other business can teach you that because you're always, you're always challenged on a daily basis by different people. Different, just because, just when you think you got it figured out, boom, 2007 happens, boom, pandemic happens, boom, yeah. something happens, right? And here we have a shift in the market. So it's, it's really, it's really exciting. It's like sports, mm-hmm. right? You have to be on your toes, but that's my, you know, long story short. Yeah, I think that's really interesting because from reading your book, you didn't even like sales. And here you are a top salesperson in the industry here in Silicon Valley, you know, one of the most expensive markets in the country. And so, which is one of the reasons why I have you on this show, right? Because I know your mindset is key. Like you are synonymous with inspiration and being motivated, right? So on that note, I would love to know, like, what motivates you? You know, what motivates me now? And we all struggle with this question. Remember back in the day, you know, you would hear, what's your why? Yeah. What's your why? What's your purpose in life? Your I'm like, purpose. Well, what's my purpose, man? Maybe mm-hmm. get married, have kids, have a dog. I don't know. <laughs> what's my purpose? But then you have that, like, dude, I'm not happy. There's something wrong. Something is missing. Right. What's my purpose? What's my purpose? But I think past four or five years, I think I found my purpose. And my purpose is quite simple it's it's become the best possible version of myself mm-hmm. for, for the people around me you mm-hmm. know what I mean and be it the clients be it my kids be it be it my tribe be it my friends right mm-hmm. I, I want to bring tremendous value to them be it you like I'm here right now I want to bring tremendous value it just like it feels good you mm-hmm. know and that's what I that's that's my purpose and and I don't give a what happens? You know, I don't care if I do 200 transactions this year or 20, because mm-hmm. guess what? I'm not in that situation where I have to pay off my student loan or I'm in a great debt. I thankfully, after going through lots of ups and downs, I'm in a really good situation. I'm almost 50. I'm 48. So now I'm just learning to love the journey mm-hmm. and attach to my routines. And I don't care what happens, you know, and that's my purpose. That's my why. Yeah. So you, you've shifted it from external to mm-hmm. internal yeah. of just being the best you, yeah. which I think was really an, an important shift to make. So tell me about what your business looks like today. Okay. As far as like the number of transactions or what are we talking about? Like business? And Whatever you're willing to share. Okay. <laughs> Units business. or, you know, income or what, what, what this income in this life that you've built has afforded you right? Yeah. Well, you know, one thing is, I think when it comes to money or income, I think, I think we have to, we have, we have it the other way around. Mm -hmm. You ask anybody out there, Hey, do you want to be rich? Like everybody would say, I want to be rich. Right. Right. But just like, Hey, do you want a six pack? Do you want a good body? Oh yeah. Everybody wants a good body. Right. Yeah. But then how many people are willing to work at it? day in day out hot cold rainy seasons it doesn't matter but you're doing it you're paying your dues day in day out day in day out right and you do that you are going to get in shape you are going to attract money okay mm-hmm. so i mean i am not so crazy about going after money i know if i'm doing my job money will come so just to keep things in perspective i mean last year we did over 100 transactions the wow. year before was super busy. We did 130 transactions. Mm-hmm. And that kind of gives you an idea, you know, like the volume wise, we live in the Silicon Valley where the average price point is like 1.2, 1.3. In some cases, 2 million. So, so yes. we're blessed to be doing really, really well. 
And now we have this shift in the market, which has created a lot of anxiety among agents, right? I mean, that's the talk whenever you go to the office or you hang out and even pe other people are like, oh my gosh, you're a realtor. I feel bad. The market has shifted. I'm like, well, I'm okay, guys, relax. You know? <laughs> You're so, basically unemployed. <laughs> basically unemployed. Like, that's okay, how people yeah, treat you. That's how people treat you, right? But the thing is, at the end of the day, as long as human beings are out there, people are going to be buying and selling. Yes. And we just have to get in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. So my goal this year, obviously, is still the same goal. I want to do over 100 transactions this year, 150 yeah. to be exact. However, I'm not attached. Mm -hmm. If I do 30, Hey, guess what? It's good money. I'm excited. But even if I 200, if even if I do 200, I'm not going to be satisfied. Like, okay, what's next, right? Because right. that's that's the game we play, right? Okay, I I don't give a. Sh you can put a billion dollars in front of me, mm -hmm. with a B, but I am going to be doing the same thing tomorrow because there there are only so many margaritas and drinks and steaks you can have, right? Right. Right. Well, that. it's the journey. It's the thrill. So the thrill. what I'm, what I'm pulling from this is you're not attached to the outcome, but I know you're attached to your, your activities and yes. your habits. Yes. So tell, let's talk, let's jump into that. Tell okay. me about your routines. I know you lead the 5am club every day, which is a zoom meeting that basically is like if uh, miracle morning, right? Yep. If anybody's familiar with that, take us through like some of your accountability and these routines that you've built, because I love routines and structure. And if anybody's been listening to the podcast, you know, I'm fanatical about accountability as well. And mm -hmm. if you think I'm crazy, like you haven't met Eddie. <laughs> no, you're too kind. Lana. You are you're too kind. We learn from each other. One thing is, so this routine uh, came into this picture about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Remember when 2007 happened, 2008, the financial meltdown? Yes. Yeah, that was a scary time, right? I, I was bankrupt. I lost everything. You know, I've been doing this for, in this industry for 24 years, but I basically, I was super heavily invested in, in, in real estate and I basically lost everything. Mm -hmm. And I got into a little, uh, you know, got into a, into a phase where I was just depressed for a few months, you know, like all of a sudden, like yeah. everything's gone and there's no transactions, everybody's losing jobs and, and you don't, you're, you're scared. I had, you know, I, my, my son was just born this 2008. So I was scared and it just, I started drinking every day, right? Because what right. happens is like, it's a very slippery slope. Your life is a very slippery slope. It can take you either way. And that's something you got to work on on a daily basis, right? Because it can go either way. So right, I was right. And it's the, it's the compound effect, right? So we're talking about yeah. habits and being hand in hand with depression, right? Is oh. drinking every day. And that's a daily habit. So exactly. you were, exactly. It becomes it a different kind of ritual. Yeah, the opposite direction. Opposite direction. <laughs> so I, I did that for a couple of months. And then I was like, you know, I started gaining weight. I was getting into this depression. I felt like the fire in my belly was dying. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Letting go. Mm -hmm. I, I'm like, what the heck is going on? This is not me. Mm -hmm. And I just snapped out of it. I started reading books. I came across Miracle Morning and I like, mm -hmm. boom, done. I started this 10 years ago. I haven't skipped one day. Okay. Unless I'm on a vacation or, or right. taking a off every single day, except the week weekends, I get up at four in the morning and I have this beautiful routine. And this routine is a combination of many books. So I'll, I'll kind of walk you go through it. This it's, it's a little things I've learned from different books and seminars. And you just kind of put these pieces together. And I feel like I've created something which is quite powerful. Okay. So I'll, I'll kind of walk you through it. So, yes, please share all your secrets. <laughs> okay. So 4 a.m., you know, by the way, I have like three, four alarms, you know, oh on because I have so many accountability parts. Even if I wanted to call in sick, I have to call like 10 people <laughs> because, you know, it's like, it's not it's gonna, more it's, work to call in sick. It's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to just wake up. So 4 a.m. happens and boom, I just wake up. I no snoozing, no nothing. And one thing I learned from somewhere that wake up with a smile. So I just force myself with a smile. I wake up like, <laughs> yeah. 
and I, oh, it's okay. I guess it's, I don't want to wake up, but I wake up. And the first thing I do is I make my bed. That's okay. something I learned from a book as well. I think it came from a Navy SEAL. You make your bed. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I do is before going to the restroom, I write down my affirmations, my gratitude. Oh. Am I thankful for, you know, what made me happy yesterday? What are my goals? I make, you know, I do that. I make my bed. Then I have my celery juice. First thing I do is drink oh. my celery juice. Okay. Drink my celery juice. I turn on an audible, you know, any, like I have a bunch of books, you know, any motivational book I turn on. So while I'm brushing my teeth, shaving, getting ready for the day, I go ahead and listen to a good book. Mm -hmm. Then I get in the shower and turn on cold shower. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Or, you're doing like all of the things. <laughs> all of the things. So doing the cold shower and I get in the cold shower and I start doing my affirmations, yelling. This is what I do. Oh. This morning, I'm counting my blessings. I'm feeling so grateful for such a beautiful life. I'm blessed with my beautiful family, friends, accountability partners, mentors, coaches. I truly appreciate every single one of them just because of them every day and every single way I'm getting better and better. My business is not a hobby. It's not a hobby. I'm going to think bigger. I'm going to act bigger. I'll provide the best possible lifestyle to my family, provide the best possible deals to my clients. I'll do that by attracting the right kind of people in my life, put me on the right path, right track. They're going to help me become the best version of myself. They're going to help me become a better father, better human being, better person, better realtor, better negotiator, better investor, better businessman, better leader. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I do intend to improve. Every little thing I do today will help me create these perfect end results. I'll become close friends of the most shakers of the world. I'll make a huge contribution in my community in many parts of the world. I'll gross $8 million this year. I'll net eight, $4 million this year. I'll donate two hundred fifty k this year. My net worth is going to be way over $100 million by December 31st, 27. I'm getting in the best shape of my life. Six pan and to six pack and tone body. Now I command the universe, my conscious, subconscious mind to give me health, knowledge, wisdom, passion, focus, humor, whatever the f it takes to make this day the most exciting, most profitable, most productive, the funnest day of my life. With that, I'm complete. Warm water. <laughs> So you, you say it really fast because you have to get to the warm water, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I say it fast because, you know, just, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, like, ener it's energy too. It's, it's energy, energy, you know, it's, and yeah. this comes from, again, it's a combination of, you know, Anthony Robbins and different books or whatever. Right. Yeah. And then I get, you know, the, and then audible is playing, I get ready and I, I'm out of the house by like 445, 450. I get to the gym and 5 a.m. We log in on our Miracle Morning Zoom call. And five to six, we do a combination of like meditation, affirmation. And what we, and you know, I have anywhere from 10 to 30 people will log in anywhere all, all the way from, you know, like California to Vancouver, mm -hmm. basically people from all over the US and Canada. And we just, we do our own workouts. I mean, you can go for a walk, you can do your workout, you know, while listening to a good book as well. So we're, on we're the doing the call. Miracle Morning yeah. thing. We're doing visualization, meditation, affirmations, and working out in the, in the 60 minutes. I do that while working out, while lifting weights. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm basically out of the gym by 6.30. And I'm at the office between 6.45 and 7. Wow. And, and you're alone there, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> and then between, between 6.30 to till 8.30, I have some kind of mastermind or coaching call or role play, something mm -hmm. like going on, right? And then from 8 to 12, 8.30 to 12, I basically have either either my, my team meetings or prospecting. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's 12 p.m. and I've done so much. And that, but then you do that, your day is going to be packed, you know, yeah. because scheduling appointments, things are happening, your phones are ringing. It's, it's going to happen, right? So, because, you know, you're, you're placing offers, you're showing properties, you're making a video. Right. You're shooting a video. So, so that's my schedule. Oh my goodness. I'm tired just listening to it, but thank you so much for sharing that. I feel like it's such like peeling back the curtain of, you know, a high achiever, right? Of somebody that's doing a lot in their life and what it, what it really takes. Like you said about the six pack, we all want six packs. It's not because we don't know how to get them. It's because not everybody's willing to do the work and that's the work that you're putting in. And obviously you've done it long enough and it's paying off and it's such a beautiful thing. And I appreciate you sharing your affirmations. I need to step up mine. I definitely have mine, but, but, and affirmations are such a personal thing, just like goals, right? Yeah. Which, you know, your affirmations are really just blending of your goals and, and verbalizing it, right? These are, 
these are going to happen and you're putting it out in the universe. Right. Yeah. And, and they're very personal. So it was really great that you, you shared those. I, I appreciate that, Eddie. That's Absolutely. super cool. So now that you're at where you're at, right. We have a picture of Eddie and your business. Tell us what are you currently struggling with or is life a breeze? Oh no, we struggle every day. Every day is a struggle. <laughs> You know, okay. the funny thing is when you get up in the morning, when I'm smiling, the first 60 seconds, like, oh, and especially, you know, you have nights where you don't sleep well, you know, or, or yeah. things happen or whatever, right? Or you're, you're stressed out. It happens, right? So that's why these routines are so important because when you get into that cold shower, when you're lifting that weight, when you're mm -hmm. role playing with, with your accountability partners, it just kind of, you snap out of it. You know what I mean? So no matter what happened yesterday, no matter who backed out, no matter who told you mm -hmm. to F off, right? Every day is a new day, right? Mm -hmm. Start so every day at zero. Start every day at zero. So right. no, I struggle every day, every single day. Okay. And by the way, I'm the laziest guy you'll ever meet. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I have accountability. Right. So I, I have accountability for, so I get up in the morning, I have accountability. 5 a.m. routine, I have accountability. I show up at the office. I have role play. It's an accountability. So mm -hmm. What happens is we human beings, we wouldn't, if I didn't have any of that, let's say if I didn't have these partners and I was like, Eddie, you're going to get up by yourself and you're going to write down these goals and you're going to go to the gym and you're going to go role play by yourself. It'll never happen. No, no, it'll, I agree. Yeah, it'll never happen. But if I know Alana is waiting for me, I'm like, oh. you know what I mean? That's how our mind works as human right. beings. Otherwise, I mean, I can sleep for 10 hours, you know, during that yeah. time that I was telling you when I was depressed. Yeah. I would sleep. For, I would get drunk and I would sleep for 12 hours. Oh my goodness. So we yes. know you're capable of it. Yes. And I, I totally agree about they, I, I set up the accountability in my life because I know myself, I have enough self-awareness and you obviously do too, to know that if I didn't have somebody waiting for me, I probably just wouldn't do it. Right. Yeah, exactly. If there was nobody checking in and that's why I have to have so much accountability on a daily, weekly, quarter, monthly, quarterly, yearly basis. Right. So to get, to get to where I want to go. So yeah. thank you for sharing that and making it, you know, making yourself less of a robot. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fun. You I mean, are it's, human. Once you're used to it, it's fun. It's like if you, if I take too much time off, I'm like oh, I miss my routine. It's so yeah. much. Because you know what? What happens is when it's when you leave that gym, when you come to the office, when you have the coffee, you like, man, this feels good. You yeah. know what I mean? No alcohol, no drug, no money can buy that feeling. Yeah, it's, it's the feeling of accomplishment. It's feeling feeling of self worth. Like I did this. Yes. Thank you. And that's one of the ways to build your self-esteem. And I went over in one of my previous episodes is making and keeping promises to yourself is so powerful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Eddie, tell me some advice that you would give to somebody either just starting out in real estate or just starting a new career or starting in real estate investing, or just wanting to get over maybe the fear of starting. I would say that seek out people who fan your flames mm. we all have a flame inside us mm -hmm. right most of us just carry it throughout our life it never blows up into a big fire yeah you need the right kind of people mike fairies of the world tom fairies of the world gino blafaris of the world you know what i mean mm -hmm. you a lot of good people around you who are going to be who are going to set your life on fire right that is so powerful yes. yeah so, seek so out these people seek out these people because majority of the world is talking about their favorite team or the politics or the weather or you know how much they were pissed at this person who made their coffee because they didn't put enough milk that's, right. that's the world we live in right yeah so Small finding stuff. out, yeah, the finding out people who are who are the other way around, like 10, 20 percent up. Why don't you be your own hero? Yeah. There are people out there who would spend, you know, thousands of dollars on a sports team, but they wouldn't spend much on themselves or even on their kids. So yeah. it's really interesting. So where do you want to go? And and there's no right or wrong. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of life you want to have, perfectly fine. 
But if you're like, right. hey, you know what? I want what she has. Mm -hmm. Well, then you better start eating, right? Right. Doing what, doing what she does, whoever she is. Well, don't complain, please. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I love that. That's very powerful and not entirely what I expected you to say. So <laughs> that's cool. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> no, good stuff. Good stuff. I, I love it. Eddie, tell me, and this can be real estate related or, or not. What is something that you're currently obsessed with? Hmm. Currently obsessed with, I'm really obsessed with getting in a really good shape. Right. Oh, now. okay. Yes, I am. You know, it's funny. I just turned 48 and, you know, you're approaching, you know, midlife. I'll be 50 in two years. And you start thinking, oh my gosh, holy it's actually going by real quick, you yeah. know? And I just like, I'm like, hey, you know what? I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to have money and then be physically broke, mm -hmm. right? With, you know, aches in my body and can't even move, you know? So I'm really focusing a lot on what I eat. And I just want to, I want to respect my mind, body, and soul. So I've been meditating. When I say my body, I mean everything my mind, mm -hmm. body, and soul. So I mm -hmm. meditate 40 minutes a day. I basically work out. I eat organic diet 80% of the time. I still have, I still like my wine every now and then. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, it's, it's a practice. There's, yeah, there's it's just balance, you know, days yeah. And stuff yeah with, I love to, stuff. love to hang out with my friends and family. So, so I'm really obsessed with really taking care of myself right now. Okay. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Yeah. That's wonderful. And we hadn't touched before. This is a lot of great mindset stuff. You're in real estate sales. What kind of real estate investing do you do, if any? Yes. So I told you I was bankrupt in 2007, eight, and then I had to start right. from the bottom, from the bottom. So I just, I just started working really hard, started making money and started investing, started buying some smaller properties first. I bought like a property in Chicago for a hundred thousand. Uh, then I brought bought a property in Tracy ten years ago for three hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Fully worked my way up, and then now I'm invested in like nine syndications, two of them with Grant Cardone. Cool. Residual income, right? Yeah. So right now, I'm really obsessed with you know when it comes to real estate investments. Uh, what I'm looking for is cash flow. Mm -hmm. I, I want to get to a point where I can have a comfortable living without having to worry about producing or generating. Not that I'm going to quit this business because I'm going to be like mm -hmm. Mike Perry. I'm going to be, I can't stay <laughs> home. I got to work. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, but it's, it, it'll be good. You know, if I want to take a week off and go to Hawaii or whatever, then I can do it. So just, just working right. on residual income and looking for syndication opportunities, looking for cash flow, looking for ways to, you know, like use depreciation, to write mm -hmm. off some of your taxes, stuff like that. Yeah. Right, right. So the real estate investing and syndications are very beneficial for you on multiple levels, right? Because tax write-offs are a big one because you're a real professional and a high income earner. I'm sure that's that's really beneficial for your tax planning. And do you still have those rentals that you bought? Are they long-term and you don't manage them? I have two properties in California, which I manage myself there in the Bay Area. And then I have a property in Texas. Everything else is managed by property man property manager. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because that can be time intensive. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for going over that. Cause I don't want to miss that. You know, yes. Right. It's very important. When I talk to real estate agents, being a realtor myself right? Not everybody's investing in real estate. And I'm like, this is what we do. This is what we know, right? So I always encourage realtors to become investors themselves. It makes them better agents also, in my opinion. I wish somebody had taught me this before 2007. You know what I mean? This is a great lesson. I mean, it's really is because what happens is, especially when you're young, you start making money and you think it's a sexy business. You, you know, you get a sexy car, you get a nice house and your bills are up to here. And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden shift happens like, holy, shit, my income can't keep up. Well, right. Because, you you know, we, we, you know, that's where you reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, listening to these kind of podcasts, having good people mm -hmm. around you can help you because all that shit can come later. 
but before you have to make sure you have a solid foundation so you're not building a house of cards. Absolutely. Yeah. I and do it now before it's before you're wishing that you did it was exactly. basically what I'm hearing from you. So yeah. on a unrelated note, what is an interesting fact about you that people probably don't know? Oh shit. Hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> interesting fact about me that people don't, you know, a lot of people think that I am just like naturally like a people person. I like to socialize. I like to hang out, but, but my innate personality is, is I like being alone. I'm mm -hmm. a lawyer. I like watching movies. You know, I like just being by myself, going to the gym. Just, yeah. just alone. I like being alone. Okay. Yeah. You kind of turn it on and off. I think you have yes. the ability to be both. And I, I can see it being assumed that you're a very outgoing person, yeah. social butterfly all the time. So it's interesting that that's a muscle that you had to build that, that, mm -hmm. that you're that's sharing. A, yeah, it's, it's, absolutely. Think I'm, naturally. I, told you I was shy. I, I didn't, I couldn't speak the language. I, I had to, I had to work on the skill set totally. So yeah. So my, my, yeah. my natural personality is go back to, you know, like relax, just watch some Netflix, just chill. Yeah. Be alone. <laughs> I get that. So Eddie, who has been your biggest inspiration in your life so far? Ooh, my biggest inspiration. I would have to say, I would give credit to a couple of people, actually. Uh, number one would be the book, The Miracle Morning, Hal Elrod. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I feel like the book saved me. Wow. The, it really did. You know, because remember I was talking to you about we we are always living on the edge. And either way, I mean, even though I've been doing so good, I mean, it's really easy to, you know, get confused in life and then go back to your. So that's why we have to work on this every day, work on your routine every day, right? Yeah. Zig Ziglar talks about it that they say motivation doesn't last, neither does bathing. So we recommend you do it daily, right? So mm -hmm. you got to do it every day on a daily basis. So Hal, Hal Elrod, Miracle Morning, that was one. Mm -hmm. when I look at people like Mike Ferry, you know, it just yeah. really inspires me. And it doesn't matter if you like him or not. It's just that, you know, being at this age and being so sharp, right? Mm -hmm. And so many followers, inspiring people to do well. I mean, that's, that's huge. In, inspiring somebody to do well in their life is huge, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, again, goes back to that point, right? You can give somebody fish or you can teach them how to fish. Right. And that's yeah. what he's doing, right? He's creating mm -hmm. all Eddie's and Alana's, right? In the world, right? which is quite inspiring to watch. And they're changing lives as well because majority of the people in that arena are like givers. They're not takers. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you were talking about, you meet these people and you're like, wow, this actually person, this person is a good person. I thought he was going to be an but he's not, you know? Yeah. Very generous. And usually people at the top are. So for yeah. any of our listeners that are either not a, a realtor themselves, or they are, and they just have never heard of Mike Ferry. Mike Ferry is a world renowned real estate coach. He's amazing. He's old AF. He's an old man. He, and his, his real estate and coachings really took me to the next level with my sales. He teaches a strict routine of how to be a salesperson and you do, you follow the routine or you don't, you know, there's no meandering. And that's what I needed in my life when I was looking for a real estate coach. So I'm a big fan as well. And as on your point, you know, I've, I just recently read like the, the biggest gift of love you can give someone is helping them achieve their dreams. Mm -hmm. that's right and that's yeah that's exactly what you're you're saying Mike Ferry embodies mm -hmm. and that's like God's work right yes yes exactly so that's inspiring yeah so what's next for Eddie Oberoi what's next for me hey you know what it's a journey this journey like enjoying every single day who gives a shit what's going to happen five years from now 10 years from now when I have this much money when I have that house or when I have that car I mean yeah. this, like, living in the moment being mindful, being grateful on a daily basis. I think that's just next right now. I mean, I, and I really want to, I want to inspire people as well. I want to help people as much as I can, you know, and, you know, with my time, money, education, whatever I can do. That's, that's what I want to do. And I want to do it organically. I don't want to put any pressure yeah. on me. Like I have to do this. I have to be like Mike Ferry. I have, no, it's not like that. I'm because I, 
I just really want to enjoy this beautiful journey that yeah. I worked so hard for. I mean, I mean, I've been working my ass off since I was 16. And I'm talking about not 40 mm-hmm. hours a week, working good 60 to 80 hours a week while educating myself and going to college and learning the language, learning the skill set, selling real estate. So it's been it's it's been 32 years of hard work. And now I just want to like, hey, just enjoy my journey, enjoy my days. There is no there's no next. It's now. Mm-hmm. It's like right now I'm having fun. And that's all matters. Living in the moment. I definitely see, I mean, you have such a helping and coaching persona, right? Of you achieving success, but not alone, you know, with the accountability slash lifting others, right? So do you ever see yourself? And if you don't already have like some kind of coaching or mentorship program of, of your own? I, I don't, I mean, but I do have my own team, you right. know, oh, I have uh, some, you know, some part-timers or some new agents who, who want to join the team, but I definitely, people do reach out to me and, and I do talk to them, but I don't have any mm-hmm. coaching program, mm-hmm. but, but I'm more than willing to help people, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. But I if, can see that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, I'm not, if, if, it's, if, if it's something organically happens, organic. great. But, but I'm just having too much fun in this career. So we'll see what mm-hmm. happens. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Just curious. Yeah. And uh, let's see. We've already talked, touched on your book, Wake the F Up, which is amazing and your journey. And it was almost hard to read through the beginning because of your struggles. I definitely teared up and I've laughed through it. So it's a great read. And this is available on Amazon, right? That's right. Just Google my name. I mean, uh, just type in my name, Eddie O'Broy. It'll pop up. Okay. And I'll include a link in the show notes to that. Um, is there, are there, we've, we've already gone over a few book recommendations. Any other last recommendations? We have your book. We have Hal Elrod, Rich Dad, Poor Dad mentioned. Any others that you can impart yeah, us with? I'm looking at some books right now. This is probably one of my favorites, Can't Hurt Me. Oh, yeah. okay. I have not read that one, but I've heard of it. Really good book, David Goggins. A couple of my top favorites. Are, there's another book called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Oh, okay. Really good book. How to Make Friends and Influence People. That's another good book. Think and Grow Rich, Mm -hmm. which is obviously the best. Yeah, these are, yeah, these are my top three, four books. Okay, cool. And we'll include those in the show notes as well. And I I know you're you're an avid Audible listener. So I, I wanted to get that question out there in case there was any, maybe just for my own sake. And last question would be how would somebody listening or watching this, you know, follow your journey or want to get in touch with you? How would they do that? Basically, the best thing to do would be follow me on Instagram or LinkedIn or Facebook. Yeah, just look me up and okay. uh, message me anytime. And uh, I, I'm not there all the time, but I do check them periodically. If you leave a message, I'm sure I'll get back to you. But yeah, Instagram is a great way. LinkedIn okay. is great. Yeah. And do you know your handle off the top of your head? I'll definitely include it in the show notes, but for anybody Eddie listening at Eddie O'Broy at Eddie O'Broy. Okay, cool. Yes. Great. Well, thank you so much for, you know, making time for the show, Eddie. Of course. I hope it helps. And thank you for, you know, for, for doing this. I, I'm sure you're helping a lot of people. You're a kind person. So thanks for being you. Thanks, Eddie. I'm sure. Everybody will leave just as inspired from this as I am. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you soon. All right. Let's kick some. See ya. (laughs) Bye-bye. Well, that was our interview with Eddie Oberoi. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. Definitely feeling inspired to take some action and get my morning routine in better shape. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it like, subscribe, support the show for more content like this. And if you are so inclined, I'd love a five-star review. It'll help me and in the algorithm and reach more people. That would be wonderful. If you'd like to connect with the show, feel free to go to the website, obsessedwithrealestateshow.com, where you can find all of the resources, all the book recommendations, links to those, as well as submit to be a guest on the show. That would be cool. You can can also find me on Instagram, follow and reach out at Alana George underscore real estate. I'd love if you reached out and said hello. 
as well as if you, again, are interested in syndications, my website, clearconnectioncapital.com has a lot of information on what syndications are, why they're beneficial as real estate investments, syndications versus the stock market, pros and cons. So check that out if you're looking for a different investment vehicle that is passive and still secured by real estate. I will see you on the next episode.